Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's plan for a video was actually going to be adding color to the DAWM bar, but I shot that video, it didn't work. Uh, so I'm still exploring. <laughs> the, the patch that's supposed to, you know, add color to SL status just does not work on my system for whatever reason. Don't know why. So, plan B. Uh, we're moving to Xmonad, which was what we did, you know, the previous time we did a video, or I did a video. Um, and this originally was going to be planned for like January or something, but I just decided to do it now because I've come up with some ideas on how to get a bar that I think I that th I think are going to work. We'll see. Um, the way I've been successful lately, this, there's no way this is going to work. Anyways, um, let's uh, go ahead and jump over to the main screen. Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you who watched my last two videos, I did remember to change this text over here. You know. It said top five Linux apps for like three videos, and I didn't even notice until today. Uh, but I changed it, so chances are I'll probably forget again. So <laughs> that's probably going to happen. Anyways, jump to the main screen here. I should also make sure that, you know, <laughs> I'm actually recording, which I am. Good. All right. So let's, uh, let's uh, zoom in here. So my idea, so if you remember the last time I was playing around with Polybar, I was... Um, I was attempting to to run launch.sh through a startup hook within Haskell. It was not working. So what I've decided to do, actually, is because apparently you can run scripts that are in your path in using a startup hook. What I'm going to do is create a script for all of my startup stuff and go ahead and put it right in my path. And then that's the only thing in my xmonad config that will auto launch from there everything else will happen through a bash script now theoretically this should work uh, so first we're going to go through and do um, vim into xmonad.hs and we're going to go down here to uh, start up I finally found that. This config file is really long. Um, <laughs> that that will be a problem for another day. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out all this stuff. I'm going to delete this, delete this, and we'll leave this here because we're going to change um, change inside parentheses. That's not parentheses. Those are quotation marks, dumbass. All right. Um, <laughs> um, so we're going to call the script auto start mon start monad dot sh okay and we'll just have to remember that name and we'll write this we'll leave it there for now and we'll open up a new uh, a new terminal here and go to um, cd slash user local bin sudo touch and we call the auto start monad.sh. Okay. I didn't type my password in right. That's better. Okay, and then we want to change the so sudo chmod plus x and auto start monad.sh. Okay, and then we want to sudo nvim auto monad sh so and this is going to be a bash script so we're going to do um pound sign exclamation part slash bin slash bash and we're just going to call it sh we'll do that way it'll work in more shells and we want to um pycom and uh, we want to nitrogen dash dash restore Oops, no space. Restore, and we want to um, tilde slash. Hmm, that's a good point. Hmm. So, I hopefully this will work. So dot config. 
slash uh, polybar slash uh, launch.sh. That mm, what I want, what I need to do is open up a new terminal here and go to cd uh, dot dwm. No, not dwm. It's going to have to be bs pwm. I'm trying to figure out where I remember where I have a polybar like that I'm starting like this. So uh, um, config bs pwm ls do 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 uh, vim auto start. Yep. All right. Yeah, see, okay, so this is, this does dollar sign home, so, and we have to make sure we put ands at the end of those. Right, so let's close this and do dollar sign, dollar sign home, okay, and put, um, do, 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 X ampersand at the end. And an ampersand at the end, and we'll save this and close it. Close this, save and close this, and do mod shift and hmm, Q. That didn't work. Okay, so we're gonna have to do xmonad dash recompile. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it recompiled com successfully. So much if restart? No, much if Q. That's still not starting a polybar. And why not? Why not? Why isn't anything I do working today? Ah! Hmm. Okay, so you want to run, run a CD, and we're going to go see how Arco Linux does, because Ar Arco Linux's uh, standard Xmonad install uses Polybar, so they have to have been able to do it, so let's go find out how they did it. So we're going to do uh, locate scale. Uh, I think it's slash user, so CD slash user slash uh, share scale, maybe? No. User slash bin. No, it's bin scale. No, it's somewhere in this one. Ls. Okay. So cd slash share. Ls. Nope. Cd dot dot. Um. Locate scale. That's the reason why I didn't do a locate. It's because there's way too many things with scale in it. Everything that has has skull on it, basically. I don't know why they had to call it skull. <sighs> I'm gonna have to fo locate it. This is. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. There's probably a fuzzy fuzzy finder, but I don't know how to use fuzzy finder yet. That's on the list of things to do. All this stuff is has skull. Doc, 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 doc. That's that's gonna be has skull. That's gonna be has skull. Um. Do 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 do. Joplin. I thought it. Here we go. It's that. See, it wasn't even in user. It's in Etsy. All right. So cd cd dash Etsy scale ls cd xmonad dot xmonad ls. Okay. So cd. Let's see what's in their scripts file. Ls auto so vim auto start dot sh okay and this is this right, right here is where they're launching polybar so they don't have it in path but that's not gonna okay so where do they call this file out then in zsh so cd dot dot okay uh, vim vim um, xmonad.hs okay so we're going to find auto start sh I gotta actually spell it right auto start dot sh. that's right this is what this looks like spawn dollar sign home slash dot xmonad 
Okay, well, you wanna, then we'll, we'll try that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna leave that open, screw it. So we're gonna, first we're gonna do cd slash user uh, local bin. And we're gonna sudo move auto start monad.sh to, oh fuck. I'm gonna cd.xmonad. Make directory scripts. Okay. See, and then we can close that. And then we want to do do this tilde slash dot xmonad scripts. Okay. And cd cd dot xmonad scripts ls dim auto start dot sh. That should work theoretically. Um, they had it a little bit different in the, in the, in the scale one. Um, let's close this for a second. And cd into scripts here. And vim auto start sh. See, they had it sleep run. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? We'll try that. So, parentheses. Sleep to semicolon run uh, and then parentheses and okay but this is this is gonna be yeah I want to keep that yep exactly like that I'm wondering if I'm gonna to have to put this if statement in there too. I bet you I'm gonna to have to. So what we're gonna do is, um, I mean, I'm function run. Oh, I'm changing a fucking read only prop. I hate I'm gonna to have to redo all this stuff because there's no way this is gonna let me write it write this. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. All right, let's see. Run. Uh, oops. Insert two squirrely black brackets. Okay. If exclamation point p grip dollar sign one semicolon then dollar sign at sign ampersand fi and then close that okay and see let's see how they did the pycom as well so we did fat this way and everything else so this has to have run in front of it but except for pycom doesn't have run in front of it um and neither does fat. So that should, those should work fine. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, that should work now. Okay, so we're gonna have to cd into up up a level. Cd dot um. Monad dot oops. Vim at x monad dot hs. Okay. My startup hook. And let's cd up a level so I can see what they did it here again. We're literally just copying them because the way I wanted to do it didn't work. cd, uh, let's see, vim uh, xmonad.hs. I really got to set up vim so it remembers position. It's right here. I'm wondering if we also have to have that set window manager name. We'll put that in here. Okay. Okay. Spawn. Uh, let's see here. Dollar sign. Oops, that's not a dollar sign. That's a home. Home slash dot xmonad 
slash scripts slash auto start xmonad.sh. Okay, it's a little bit, it's named a little bit different, but it should still work. Um, set win manager name lg3d, just in case we need it. Okay, control wq xmonad recompile. And th that's the one that gets me really. Did I? L G three D set window man W M name. I'll we'll just delete that part. Then I didn't want it anyways. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Now, now we'll recompile. Okay. That should work now. Mod shift Q. Still doesn't even run polybar. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it work? It doesn't make any sense. Because we know when... <sighs> this doesn't make any sense at all. Mm. I don't get it. Does anybody get it? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause... Save out the recording as it is, restart Xmonad, and see if it'll actually work that way, like an actual restart. So give me just a second. This is going to take a minute. Okay, as you can see, we're no longer in Xmonad. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, and then when I get in there, I can't even show you this because I can't open anything because none of my key bindings would work. Um... And I think I know why. I'm pretty sure it's because I had SXHKD going uh, in that startup file, or in my in my startup hook, and I deleted that file like a moron and didn't put it in auto start. So what I'm going to try to do is cd into .xmonad and scripts ls. And vim auto start monet sh. Okay. And we're going to try to do um, run. Cause where, where do I have s? I'm pretty sure it's dot s. Okay. So uh, I'll change this if it's not true. So dollar sign home slash dot x monad slash sxhkd slash sxhkdrc okay and okay, quit that okay, and I'm gonna quit out of here go over here and I'm going to pause this again and th this is gonna make my editing way harder but screw it and we're gonna try to log back into uh, uh, xmonad and see if the damn thing will work so we'll be back in a second Okay, as you can see, still not an Xmonad. That still didn't work. So, what that means is that the the Xmonad uh, config file is not loading that script for whatever reason. So, we're gonna go find out why. Okay, and then vim xmonad.hs. Okay, my startup hook. So something about this is not right. So we're gonna have to. Maybe I'm missing a ampersand or a semicolon or something. I don't think so. But we're gonna find out. So we're gonna do cd slash etc slash scale slash xmonad dot xmonad, and we're gonna vim xmonad dot hs, and we'll scroll down here like a pleb. Uh, it should be here pretty soon. I think we passed it, actually. Yeah, it's right here. 
Um, these look exactly the same. My startup hook equal do. My startup hook equal do. Spawn quotation marks dollar sign home dot x monad slash scripts slash auto start monad dot sh. You want to know what? Just for the hell of it, we'll rename that script to just auto start dot sh. X monad recompile. Oops. Okay, that actually worked, which it, it worked before, and it still isn't loading anything. Um, so that means we need to cd into scripts and move auto start monad to auto start dot sh a u t s t r t. Yep. Okay, and we're gonna vim into that and make sure. Oops, that was dumb. This is that, that the perils of autocomplete. Auto start sh. Okay. So cd we want to go there and see if what you need scripts. Them auto start sh. We're gonna go ahead and make this a, a bash script because maybe that's you never know. Right, function run. Those all look right. I don't understand. I mean, theoretically, what we could do is just copy this whole file, just CP it, and make it exactly this file, except for the fed part. Because, well, we can even use the fed part because I have fed installed. You want to? That's exactly what we're going to do. Screw it. Alright, so we're going to sudo cp. Uh, I think it needs to be recursive. It doesn't need to be recursive because that's just a file. So auto start dot sh tilde slash dot x monad scripts. And that's where it should be. I typed the password wrong. be the longest video in the history of videos this is the last chance before we just chalk this up to being a complete failure because i'm done for the night all right so we need before we do that just cd.xmonad scripts ls make sure that's that is executable on all three le levels it is okay quit and i'm gonna pause one last time and we're gonna <laughs> We're going to hope that this worked at least to get my key bindings back. If at least got my key bindings back, then great. That means it's loading the file. If I still don't have my key bindings, then um, I'll come back here and I'll say goodnight. And we'll upload this video as an utter failure. But that's the reason why I do these videos, is because you can learn from my mistakes. Don't do these things. Anyways, just hold on a second. We'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. That was like 20 minutes between pause recording and coming back, but it was instantaneous for you. Lucky you. Uh, it didn't work, obviously, because I'm still in DWM. Um, and I have a headache, and Christ, am I disappointed, and I'm really, <laughs> I'm more actually kind of pissed off. So here's what happened. It worked, kind of. It is launching that script. It is launching auto start sh from my startup hook, and I know that because it's actually using fe. Okay, so it will launch Arco Linux bog standard thing. It will it will launch Variety, which I never use. So it is launching it, but it won't launch sxhkd because I can't launch termite via my my key binding. I'm a moron. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to pause again because I just thought of something I just did stupidly wrong. Hopefully, when you come back, you'll see me in X-Monad. This is me being stupid. 
I cannot believe I forgot to... You can't just launch the SXHKD config file. You have to launch SXHKD with a flag of the config file. Ugh. All right, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back after being a moron. I can't. I, I wasted 20 minutes of my life. I'm never going to get back because I'm a dumbass. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm back in Xmonad. Uh, the reason why SXHKD wasn't running was because... All right, well, just let me show you. I'm going to go to a different... See, Xmonad running. Pycom is still not running. I'm not sure why. But if we uh, vim into Xmonad scripts auto start as H. Delete it. Fuck it. As you can see, I've changed this here. Originally, I just had run and then the location of the SXHKDRC file. That's not the way you do it. You have to run SXHKD-C in order to get SXHKD to run. And I know that because I've done this like four or five times in other window managers, but for whatever reason, I was just sitting here for a half an hour. It's not working. It's not working. <sighs> As you can tell, there's still no polybar. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why. So let's see here. Actually, we're not, excuse me. There is a polybar. There is. Let me show it to you. This is what the polybar looks like. It's running. It's running in full screen. And it's running twice because I have two monitors. This is for monitor one. This is for monitor two. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, I wonder if I have to do... So if I do... Uh, let's see. I hate... 171... Like six, five, four. There we were. I can't tell what window, window workspace I'm on because I have no bar. Okay. This is ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing ever because I'm sure... Xmo, Xmo bar, which is really hard to set up, probably would have been easier than this because there's probably instructions on how to do it. Um, so anyways, what I want to do here is... Um, try the X render thing here. So... um. If we do xrander list monitors, okay, and we comment, oops, we comment one of these out, it doesn't really matter which one, I don't think. Because that's not going to, no, that's not the way it works. We're going to have to go here. Secure. So one of the things I did when I was still being dumb was I moved Arco's standard polybar config into my xmonad file, and that's the one I'm calling it using. So if we do cd.xmonad polybar ls, and then v in config, and then we go down here... Hmm... I go to xmonad. So you should just do, like, normal. Anyways, I'm done for now. I'm frustrated. I'm not exactly sure what the hell's going on. I'm going to close those things and close these things and go back to um, Q and 1 and 2 and 3. Here we go. Make sure we're actually recording. This is this is my recording setup. We normally have it on multiple workspaces, but I'm very frustrated. Anyways, change scene. Okay, you no longer have to see it. That was frustrating and completely pointless. That was also probably about 50 minutes worth of video. Um, and I'm going to have to edit all that nonsense. <laughs> Wish me luck. It, um, for whatever reason you like this video, if you like watching me struggle and suffer and have nothing to show for it for however long, I don't even have a clock in Xmonad. DT, you've led me wrong because obviously I'm too stupid to use Xmonad. I'm just going to go back to DWM because it's way easier. And that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> I didn't think there was anything harder than D DWM. And, but I learned DWM and I can't learn Xmonad because I'm just stuck. I was for show for so certain that my way of creating a auto start script was just going to work. I just figured I'd get that auto start script in there. It would auto start like the name implies and Polybar would appear. 
Ta-da! That's not what happened. Anyways, like, unlike, dislike, whatever, subscribe, any of that nonsense. Really do appreciate it. I, the channel, well, I wouldn't say the channel is growing by leaps and bounds. I'm actually quite happy with the way we are for having only done this for a couple weeks. Uh, and I'm almost positive that you'll agree that the production values have gone up way better than they were. They're still not good, but they're better than they were. So anyways, we'll see you next time on the Linux Cast channel.